Live from the Northeast Comedy Cabaret, it's the Back to the Humor Show. And we're back to the Back to the Humor Show. My back name is John Rice, and I'm hosting here with Matt Reese. Matt Reese, baby, with John Rice. We're having a great time. Don't get the last names mixed up. They may make you mix it Reese and Rice. Rice and Reese. Oh, let's have a treat. Uh, but... Matt just joined us to Back to the Comedy World from uh, recently going to Disney. How was that? Oh man, that was great, man. It's like another world, my friend. I hate you so much. Man. Yeah. Well, you've never been, right? No, never been. Well, I gotta say, one of my uh, shining moments, I mentioned this in the last show, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, was I got a chance to hit on uh, uh, Pocahontas. Just. And she turned and smiled at me. Is she still hot? Because that movie came out a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, she looks good for like 800 years old, I think she is. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, she's, she's that still that Ken guy? Possibly, yeah, 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 possibly like John yeah. Carter or some shit. I don't know. Uh, I'm such a Whatever, you know, whatever. But she hey, smiled at me and I have it all on tap. Hashtag tap, check me out, I'm doing big things like 500 views. <laughs> Did you get the, uh, the Mickey Mouse hat? Did you get I, the uh, well, no. You didn't bring no, me back. No, yes. but I got the coolest thing, my little R2-D2 uh, thing that spins. And it goes, Whoo! You know, the R2-D2 sound, I can't do it. That would be awesome, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm like more than R2-D2. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, did you bring back any of the dancing bed bugs? Oh, yeah, the dancing bed bugs. Well, I was upset to find out that uh, Disney had bed bugs, and, uh, but they sing and dance to you. So, yeah. Do they wear clothes, or are they rated R? That, oh man, it's, it was Disney at the dark, so nice, they, nice. they had all funky them bad bugs. I used to watch that, wait no. But they had a great place, man, they had like uh, Disney Boardwalk, I recommend that, man, and Downtown Disney, and the parks, of course, and uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but I actually uh, puked. Nice. After going on the Tower of Terror, so thank you, hashtag I puked. Any of the cartoon characters see you? Do it. Uh, no, but uh, I did turn my head, and uh, unfortunately, there was a girl about maybe eight or nine sitting across the way. I was in a corner, but I didn't hear her head enough, but she knew I was. You'll be in this situation soon, don't yeah. worry. And of course, all my friends to support and laugh at me there, man. Yeah, see, so that was great. See, next time going to Disney World, you're going to remember your co host, John Rice, to bring with you, right? You I push will, me, man. You push I will. me around in a. Yeah. Alright, well, um, you know what? Our gallon over here, he just gave you the sign that we have a jazz tonight. Oh my god. Someone else is here. I hear I hear he's a great funny Someone guy. Else is here. He's a great funny guy, Kelly. Kelly Rippa right here. How you doing, Kelly? Kelly God. Kelly, this is Kelly Rippa. And we're gonna bring in our friends gas, uh, a Mr. Rexon. That is that right? How you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah. Rexon. How are you doing today on this fine rainy evening? Right. Now, you, is that your first and last name or I mean uh, my plus name is Rexon? Rexon? Last name is Rexon. Rexon. Nice. And the last name of Jason. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't cool. No. The first name is cool. <laughs> we won't remember the one. Well, either. you just go by the one yeah, where I got Rexon. Rexon Jason. I got Rexon Jason. Oh, Rexon Jason. Rexon Jason. That's very sad. That's all the freaking. Sweet. Awesome, man. That's, that's a funny bit, too, yeah. man. That's it's cool. amazing. Like, Kevin is here. The first time I perform, Kevin was there. Yeah. Uh, now I'm uh, oh, really? talking a lot. It's amazing to see him uh, doing headline as awesome. he's growing. I'm still the number one. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how long you've been doing comedy for, man. That's why it's ten months. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh awesome. you my question. Yeah. Well, you're doing good things, man. Ten months, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, awesome. seriously, this guy is doing yeah. shit. No, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Uh, I've been doing trying different stuff, and then uh, I, I, wa I won a comedy in Reading Comedy Outlet. Oh, awesome! So, but I've never been to a comedy show completely yet. So it's amazing. Like, then I go to this guy and ask, "How does what, what is a feature?" Uh, I know what's a headline on me. I never understood what's a host mean, right. and then what's a, what's an MC? What's a different MC and a host? Things like that. Uh, so the guy says. Teaches me two hours and goes with it all, oh, bit and bit and sing. Mm -hmm. So then I said, How much time do I take? First time I did, I did, I did a show and I thought I'd be a headline. Really, I thought. Right. Uh, then nobody called me or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have that same, uh, that same feeling. Still in that feeling, man. Don't ruin it for me. Like uh, I go to open mic in Helium Comedy, then I thought people were going to ask me and, uh, and mm -hmm. ask me to do different shows in mm -hmm. Comedy they, they, they look the other way. You know? <laughs> I mean, uh, so uh, they're cheap. <laughs> What makes you want to get into comedy, you know? You know, um, in my office there's something called Toastmaster, I don't know if you guys heard of Toastmaster, it's like uh, business, 
improving communication skills. It's a club yeah. kind of thing. So I joined this club and there's a comedy competition and I won the second prize, but there's only two competitors this trophy. I don't know whether I got the second prize. So I thought I should do the comedy, so then I go to open mic, and then I go to helium first, they like they, they me the first time. Yeah. And was, some people laugh, and I thought maybe I should try it. Mm -hmm. But then I come to comedy cabaret and nobody laughed at any of my jokes. That's so, open mic. Open mic. Open mic. Open mic. Open mic. Yeah. Still, That's what happens so, the next cabaret. Yeah, right. like, what the heck, man? I read, go around, then I read, then started things, then I started reading books, and then I started doing a little bit different open mic. Four months. Yeah, I didn't understand what makes the show. Then I then I come back again, and then I and then Kevin. Uh, then after three or four months, I come and do the first with Kim and uh, and uh, do this and that. Oh, are you from around here or? Uh? No, I live in college, the Limerick. Okay. Two towers, nuclear reactor. Is that in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm uh, the yeah, geographical. It's, uh, in North of Philadelphia. Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah. 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 It's about yeah. 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 near King of Prussia. Awesome, yeah, King of Prussia, <laughs> sweet. Expensive place. Yeah. Yeah, that's far. Do you still live out there? Or? Yeah, you get cute. You just got my own way Yeah, I drive about 45 to 50 minutes. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I drive a lot, man. Yeah. And you're drunk. Nah, I'm just kidding. No, I don't drink. Yeah. That's why it's interesting. I don't drink. Cool, man. I don't smoke. Awesome. So I, I'm in a, yes. in a comedy club. You yeah. eat me. I pop up with drunks. That's what amazes me. That's what yeah. I do. Now, you've been doing comedy for 10 months now. Uh, have you found a specific club that you like going to more than others? Mm -hmm. Are there like, you just say, oh, I've been there, I don't want to go back as much? Possible, possible. Or, for me, like, really for like me any, any person who picks me up, that's me, I'm fine with that. But I love uh, comedy cabinet, I love, I love this, been working on different stuff. Uh, sometimes I come with completely new stuff, possible. and uh, very, very few people laugh, but still I get to understand what the jokes are. It's this amazing, like, you do only five, five minutes, you only bomb. It's okay, there's another guy going to back me up, so I know that yeah. he, he can do worse. John Price will do worse than me, don't okay. worry. John will come and back me up, so it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. But my inspiration was uh, Russell Peters. I'm not going to spend it on Russell Peters. Yeah. Yeah. And I listened to him, he feels like, oh man, he's talking to me, and uh, I feel the same. And then I'm like, uh, that's what, yeah, exactly. And, uh, how I think a um, brown guy, or be an Indian guy, yeah. things like that, is all the, the racial stuff, how you. you Things in life, like arranged marriage, for example, things like that. Yeah. It's amazing. You talk, holy shit, that's it. That's what it yeah, makes yeah. me to come to comedy. That's what it is. There you go, man. Cool, man. That's, that's a good one, man. Yeah. Very cool. Sweet. Well, I mean, we're expecting big things out of you, man. That's what we're expecting. And we hear you stuff before, man. Really funny dude. Really funny dude. Come check this guy out. Uh, all over the place, apparently. Does more shows than me. Well, man, you know, you know, but yeah, you guys seem like a good. Uh, Good tag team partner. So uh, we got to thank our man Rex and man. We, we had another great show here at Back in Humor. It's getting late. I'm getting a little tired. <laughs> nah. No, just another one of these awesome the ball, performers right? that happened tonight. Uh, hashtag. Thank I'm, out. I'm out. Of, I'm out of them. Thanks, out of them. thanks again for tuning in to the Back to the Humor show. Uh, I'm John Rice, one of your hosts. I'm Matt Rice. Rice. And we're Rex on. Rex on. Rex on. Rex on, baby. Thank you.